Darby Allen and Sting versus Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky. I think we're all a huge smile broke out in all our faces just now. Yeah. So, so Darby Allen's insane. We all know this. He did a dive. Like he, his opening move was a giant dive to the ropes where I don't even know who he hit. All I know is he bounced off the guy and suddenly he's in the air, upside down, not touching anybody. And he kind of flies and then comes straight down at his head and somehow survives. And I thought, well, that was certainly crazy. And lo and behold, Grandpa Sting, also off his rocker. <laughs> He's fighting with Scorpio Sky up on the ramp. Keep in mind, we thought this guy's career was over due to a neck injury, right? That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's grim. That's some grim stuff right there. And Scorpio Sky grabs him and does a suplex on the ramp. And it's Scorpio Sky, who I'm sure laid him down as gently as could be. But I still screamed. Well, it doesn't matter because Sting was doing that interview the other day and he talked about how I'm still feeling that that, that powerbomb that Brian Cage gave me. That was like six, seven, eight weeks ago. He yes. took that powerbomb in the ring. Yes. Now, granted, and I don't know this 100%, but I think that the ramp that they use is gimmicked. Of course Great. It is. I strongly suspect this. But still, I mean, that was a loud clunk when he took that, uh, that suplex under the ramp right there. I was like, look at this crazy fucker. Then he jumps to his feet. He no-sells it. He knows, He does a sting no-sell. Yep. And then he leaps off this fucking barricade onto the heels, who, by the way, did the greatest catch you ever oh. saw in your life. Yes. I mean, they basically grabbed him and, and set him down gently as they took their bump. <laughs> yeah. But it was fucking awesome. The crowd's going crazy. They're doing the you still got it chance. They're going crazy for Sting. And you know who I was the most happy for in this match? It was not Sting. It was not Darby. Yes, it was Scorpio Sky. Sure. This little kid yes. loved Sting. And not only did he get to wrestle a wrestling match in front of a live crowd against Sting, but he got to put him over. Yes. What a night for Scorpio Sky. Yes. Sting is uh, 62, is that correct? I think he's older. I think he's 63. My goodness. I get yeah. scared when I'm on top of a curb. Scorpio hits the suplex on the ramp. And he jumps up, and it's double or nothing, so he got a big giant fake poker chips out there. And he jumps on top of those, all fired up and posing. And Sting pops up and does the Sting no-sell, and he comes up and does the blank stare, evil mime, Sting no-sell behind Scorpio. And Scorpio realizes he's there and does a slow burn turn around, and Sting shoves him off down onto Ethan. And as they're down there, Sting tears off his shirt. And he's still got the, the signal on. He's not like he's bare chested. But for a 62 year old man, he looks good. Yeah. And he's beating his chest and hollering. And Sting dives. <laughs> I know he's not the oldest guy to, to do a dive. There's luchadors this age routinely, I think. But he's a pretty old man to be doing a dive like this. <laughs> and he dives. And the, the, the two pro wrestlers at the other end caught him and saved his life, set him down. So aside from the opening part, it settled into a tag match. And then they did a, a spot later during a four way. Where, Scorp- uh, where Sting and Scorpio each had submissions on, and the two guys in the submissions, which was Darby and Ethan, they were sla- scra- uh, slapping and scratching each other. And there was one, the, one other thing was there was a spot where Ethan pressed Darby over his head and threw him out way over the barricade into his own brothers, in fact, in the crowd. So those three crazy things. You take out that, those, which is like a minute of actual total action, the rest of it is a very basic, solid, old-school tag team wrestling match. And a very, very good one, because everyone here knows what they're doing. So the big finish is, after a four-way thing, it comes down to Sting and Scorpio in the ring. And Sting has already hit the Stinger Splash. He's already hooked the Scorpion. And by the way, when he did the Scorpion, he actually did squat down with it, rather than just standing with straight legs and bending over, because it's too hard to squat. So he's, he's in shape, too. But he, uh, he'd already hit the, he already hit his big moves, so it's fine if he didn't hit any more. So he whips... Scorpio into the corner, goes for the Stinger Splash, but Scorpio dodges to the apron. Scorpio then tries to flip over the ropes into a stunner on Sting, but Sting grabs the ropes, he blocks the stunner, and now he's in perfect position to hit a death drop and get the pin. The finish was so awesome. It was so great. So, like I say, for the most part, it's a very basic tag team match with like three big moves and a great finish, and I loved it. Excellent. Happy ending. Professional tag team wrestling this reminded me when i was watching sting on wcw saturday night in the beginning um just the way the match was laid out the way sting made the hot tag i mean who else could you have um be the baby face in peril besides darby but to have a 60 plus year old sting make the hot comeback was uh 
it was uh it was nostalgic it was old school and it was great if you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and 99 cents per month you can enjoy full length editions of the brian and vinnie show wrestling observer live figure four daily with tom lawler and lance storm plus hundreds of archived shows all in beautiful hd don't miss out join us today